watching Beyond Grenade today. Welcome back to another Foundation Friday. If you're new to my channel, I review foundations every Friday and I do curly hair product reviews and tutorials on Sunday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss any more videos. If you saw my review last week and I did a high-end foundation via Sephora sample, but so many of you guys told me that I could buy from Sephora and I could return the foundation if I really don't like it. So I went ahead and used my Sephora gift card to buy the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is supposed to be full coverage, long wear, matte finish, waterproof, and oil free. So today I'm gonna to test it out for the very first time. I literally just bought this this morning and we are gonna see how it does. So I bought the color in shade 8.75. I guess it's not colors like drugstore foundations. It's 8.75. Yes, I'm shade 8.75. So right ahead, the packaging is really cute. The shade color is on top. Ooh, look at this bottle. It's so regal. This is what you're paying for when you get high-end stuff. Presentation. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this on so we can see how it looks. It says to shake it well. Ooh, this is so nice. I'm new to the high-end foundation world. Sorry if I'm getting a little excited. So it does have a pump, and I'm going to be applying this via Beauty Blender. Oh, I almost forgot my primer again. Dang, I get so excited. I already put moisturizer on my face, but I am gonna put some primer. I'm gonna be using my Smashbox Photo Finish today. And let's just hope that this keeps me nice and mattified. So I will be using my Beauty Blender, and I'm gonna do, let's do one, I guess the air going first. I told you it's brand new. Come on. And, oh, oh. It's a little bit more runny than I expected. But also creamy. Okay, so I'm good about that much. And I should probably get my hair out of my face. That looks pretty good. This is just one pump, one layer, blended out really nicely. But I am gonna apply a little bit more to cover my dark circles and my little blemishes right here. And I'm gonna be using the point of my Beauty Blender. Oh, it comes out really easy. Don't pump down too hard. So first impression, I do like how easy it went on. It was very blendable. It kind of has a very like bright, probably yellow undertone, which I don't mind. I think it looks good with my skin tone. One pump went a very long way. I am getting some good coverage. It's not like extreme, super in your face, like plaster coverage. It still feels pretty lightweight and it doesn't feel too heavy. But now let me finish doing my entire face. There we go. Much more glamorous, wouldn't you say? So now that my face is complete, I did use a powder. I use a translucent powder, all that good stuff. So I'm excited to see how long it lasts. And it did do very well blending with the rest of my makeup. So we gonna see. But my main thing, as you guys may or may not know, is that I just don't want to be a super shiny, oily mess at the end of the day. It is currently 2 p.m. I will come back at the end of the day. We will see how well this foundation held up. And we're back. This is how my skin and face looks after eight hours of wear. So this would be after a full work shift. And I don't know. It's not too bad, but I definitely am shiny. And this claims to be an all day, all nighter, 24 hour wear that's supposed to keep me matte. But I am gonna get my oil blotting sheets. These are from Walgreens, there's CVS brand, there's Target brand, there's Clean and Clear, whatever you need. Every oily skin girl needs these. So I'm just going to press and remove any of the oil. Hmm, okay. First, first dab. Not too much makeup came off, that's good. All right, we are back to our matte self. So here is the oil that came off my skin. Only needed one and not a lot of the makeup came off. So I'm actually very happy to see that. When you see this and not like a bunch of like the brown makeup, that means your makeup is actually staying on your face 
and you're just removing the oil that is being excessive from your skin. I have very, very oily skin as you guys can see, so I'm not too mad at it. Now, I know many of you guys told me to try this foundation because you love it for your oily skin, but hey, maybe I'm just the most oily person of them all. I bet you ain't oily like me. Nope. I bet you ain't oily like me. Nope. It's still giving me good coverage and I'm kind of back to my matte self. So this is all I really expect from a foundation. On a normal day, I definitely would blot. After a couple hours, I wouldn't just wait eight hours and let it build up on my face, but this is what I do for the sake of the video. So overall, I have seen the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation at Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, maybe even Nordstrom's, or you can go to their website. This bottle is $40, it's considered a high-end foundation, and there's a total of 24 different colors in the shade range. My shade color is number 8.75, but there are also five additional darker shades past my skin tone. I do want to continue to try this foundation. I'll probably wear it again tomorrow and see how it does on a normal day where I'm kind of blotting throughout the day. That's not really letting all the oil sit on my face for eight hours in total. So if you want to see my day-to-day -day review on the foundations, make sure you follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat because I always give you guys all the exclusives there. I post a new foundation review every Friday and I post curly hair product reviews and tutorials on Sunday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.